Hey ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to continue my slipstreaming tutorial for Windows 21 H1. I'm going to do so by showing you how to back up your drivers and export your Windows image in order to make changes to it. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to browse to our folder which has our Windows ISO. So if you watched my previous tutorial, you will know that I had that in my D drive. So if I go to my D drive, here's my Windows image that I created. I can right click it and click mount. Once it's mounted, I select everything on it and click copy. You can do that using the keyboard, doing Control A and holding Control and pressing C. I'm going to keep a copy of it in my D drive, so I'm going to right click, I'm going to do new folder, and I'm going to do Win 10 21 H1, and then in that folder I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. Now while that's copying, I'm going to right click my start bar, I'm going to Windows PowerShell Admin, I'm going to say yes when user account control kicks in. Now I've already created a folder in my D drive called Drivers, but for the sake of this tutorial I'll actually create another folder. So in order to export our drivers, in order to load them into our Windows image, we do export dash Windows driver space dash online for the ones that are being used dash destination. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do default slash driv. Okay, and what I'll do beforehand is I'll jump over here. I'll go into my D drive and I'll right click. I'll do new folder. I'll call one drive. Go back over here. I'm going to hit return. I'll give it a moment and it should back up my drivers to the D colon slash drive folder. This could be a USB drive, it could be placed on your network, whatever you need it to be. Okay, as you've seen that all scrolled across, that's it backed up all of my drivers. We can confirm this by changing over to the drive folder as you can see here, and they're all included. Now let's go back a folder and go into our 110.21.h1 folder and see if that's finished copying. If I click down here, it looks like it has. So we now have a backed up version extracted of our Windows 10 image ISO. I now have backed up our drivers in order to slipstream them. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.